All right, thanks for joining everybody. If you have a question for Alec, please go ahead and raise your hands. And we'll get this started. Go ahead, Keegan. Hey, Alec, thank you for doing this. Um, what did you have working so well for you today and what allowed you to do that in, in such a big moment, the biggest start of your season? Yeah, I thought, you know, the heater forcing was uh, really good today. It was kind of jumping out of my hand. Um, so well, well, we talked, uh, you know, in the bullpen before the game, like, hey, force, uh, force seems kind of jumping out there. So let's kind of use that uh, uh, to get kind of get everything else going. And, um, you know, was able to do that and then kind of break some sliders off and um, throw that slider first pitch. And, um, you know, the changeup, you know, didn't really use it much today. Uh, didn't really find many spots to, to be able to throw it. And the ones I did to Mullins, I thought, you know, were, were effective low and away, kind of kept them off the heater a little bit. So I um, was able to attack with the heater and kind of, um, just throw that off speed once they were set on the heater. And now that you're at the end of your regular season, at least, when you look back to your first start, what are you proudest of or what do you feel like grew the most in your game over this season? Um, I think, you know, the the focus level sometimes, uh, you can go really good for three innings and then you kind of start to lose a little bit of focus, might walk a guy or hit a guy or whatever and, uh, I just think over over the season, you know, I've been able to lock it in a lot more and and kind of uh, expect the storm, you know. Uh, so um, been been just playing real aggressive, real competitive, no matter what the score is, and um, just trying to stay focused for every pitch. All right, thank you, Alec. Thank you. Go ahead, Caitlin. Hey, Alec. Um, thanks for your time. Um, you look at uh, the last, I think the Blue Jays have won the last eight where you've started. I mean, what is it that you especially like about starting these big games and what you think it sort of agrees with you about? Yeah, I mean, these games are, you know, they're, they're huge for us. They're, they're huge, you know, for, for our entire organization. And everybody kind of knows what's at stake, you know. So, so those guys are going out there preparing and, and giving it their all. And, and for me, it's kind of just uh, giving them confidence in me um, allowing allowing them to, to swing the bat freely and and to understand that you know if they if they give me a couple of runs that that might be enough you know so um, that allows them to be you know nice and, and smooth and and loose while they're playing and and for me just um, them having that confidence in me is huge so uh, being able to go out there and just just set the pace from the first inning uh, get that offense out there and allow them to have some fun and um, just let them go win the game. Yeah, I mean speaking of the offense, obviously you you um, they gave you a big cushion today. Um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, you know, what was it like watching that offensive performance, especially all the all the home runs? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, you know, I, I always uh, just try and keep that game close and give them a chance. And, you know, they, they showed today, uh, like they have all year, um, that at any second they could put up four, five, six, ten runs. Um, so for me, it's just about, you know, trying to get as many zeros on the board and um, just letting them hit as much as they can um, so that they can go do what they do best. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Gregor. Hey, Alec. Thanks for doing. Thank you for doing this. Um, in, in Minnesota, you said um, you know every game is every start for you is a is a must win start. But just just kind of wondering, like that start in Minnesota, the, the one today, um, do these feel at all different to you? Or are you able to compartmentalize it and really just kind of make it just any other start? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, I didn't go out today thinking I was pitching against the Baltimore. I went out today uh, just trying to throw the best game that I can. Um, you know, it's October baseball and, uh, right now we're trying to make a push, you know, so, uh, we just focused on controlling what we can control. And, um, yeah, like I told you guys last week, uh, every game for me is a must win game. So, uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter who's on the other side. Uh, I, I truly believe if I compete as hard as I can and trust my pitches and, and, and attack the game plan, um, I'll be able to keep our team in the game and let that offense go put up some runs. Um, you obviously have to stay locked in no matter what's going on around you, but the Vladimir Guerrero home run in, in the first inning, I mean, a lot of home runs came after that, but that really seemed to get you guys going. What what kind of boost did that provide just early in the game in the dugout? Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, when you play close games all the way to the end, you're kind of just, you know, keeping the opponent in um, for as long as possible. And I, I feel like um, when, when we put up three or four, you know, early, uh, it was kind of like uh, setting the pace for the game that, you know, we're, we're just going to, um, you know, uh, give it all we got right here and, 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 and we're going to try and explode it open. So uh, I think that was a big blow uh, early on and kind of just set the pace for the rest of the game. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Go ahead, Jordan. Hey, Alec. Uh, I don't know if you know John Means personally, but, you know, given that both of you guys were out there today representing West Virginia University, just curious kind of what that felt like uh, for you. 
Oh, it was amazing, man. Um, you know, I chose to go to West Virginia because it was an extremely blue blue collar school, and I and I believed in what they were doing, and I believed where they were going. You know, and and now you look at you know four years after uh, my freshman year there, and I'm pitching in the big leagues against John Means, where seven years, eight years ago that that or uh, that school didn't even have a, a locker room, and now we got two guys going against each other in the big league. So uh, for me, it was a special day, and um, you know he he's an extreme competitor and, and he's a bulldog out there. So. I was just extremely uh, happy I was able to get the win today over him. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, Alec. Uh, from from pitching to the offense of this team, um, should you guys get the chance to play beyond tomorrow? What what would make them dangerous in your mind? Um, they all can hit a home run at any point in the game. Uh, they're all extremely aggressive. Uh, they all have a great approach. Um, so if we get in, I, I, I think they're, they're going to just keep swinging that bat and uh, continue to, to, to feel confident at the plate. And our arms are going to go do their job. And, and, and we're just going to try and take this thing as far as we can. What's different about the team in September than maybe earlier in the season when you first got called up? Um, you know, I would just say, you know, the, the level of confidence that, that we're playing with right now is, is amazing. Um, everything's kind of clicking. Uh, our bullpen, our starters, um, our offense, you know, from, from top to bottom. Um, you know, everybody's kind of just clicking and, and kind of just enjoying playing with each other, and we don't want to stop playing with each other. So uh, going out there and, and giving it our all is kind of a demo. Thanks, Alec. Thank you. Go ahead, Shai. Hey, Alec, you touched on it a little bit earlier, but I'm just wondering, as these games have gotten bigger and bigger and more important, and you've continued to pitch with success through them. I was wondering what maybe you've learned about pitching in these kind of games and what you've learned, maybe what you've proven to yourself about your ability to pitch in these games over the past weeks. Yeah, I mean, everything, everything matters. Every pitch matters. Um, you know, you give up a home run and next thing you know, it, it, could, it could be trouble. Um, you know, so the, the, the level of focus, like I told you earlier, I feel like is extremely important. And, and I've been able to do that, you know, whether it's like today, 9-1, 10-1, you know, um, that heater slipped away to Hayes. And that was kind of just me telling myself, stop, focus, and lock it back in, and then was able to lock it in there. So um, just continue to keep that focus to every pitch on, in these big games and understanding that, you know, every, every pitch matters. And – just as you're watching the days you're not pitching and you're watching these games play out and you know what's going on, how important it is, what does that feel like for you? It's torture. I really wanted to be on the mound. So <laughs> today couldn't come quicker enough. All right. Thanks, Alec. Thank you. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Alec. Um, you mentioned after, after you hit Hayes how you focused back up and then that was – the last guy who got on base against the 12 in a row after that, how are you able to keep that tight game focus when the score is what it is to be able to do that? I'm just trying to continue to get, to get better um, I, I, as myself, you know, compete against myself. Sometimes uh, the scoreboard uh, can allow you to, to, to start to your arm drag or your legs not drive downhill as much as possible. Um, you know, and you kind of just start to get lazy. And for me, it's, it's, continue to get better, um, you know, and I, I want to pitch in this league for a really long time. So uh, for me, it's extremely important to get better each and every every pitch, each and every out, and each and every game. So uh, regardless of the score, just got to go out there and compete every pitch. What did you do uh, during that delay with the umpires? You were you were down for a while. How did you stay warm? I uh, came inside, uh, made sure the umpire was all right first off, and uh, then sat down and kind of just uh, waited uh, in the clubhouse. And then once the umpire went back out there, I went into our cages and threw a little bit. And um, yeah, that's about it. All right. And if I sneak one in, when we talked the other day, you said you hadn't put that home run jacket on. You weren't sure if it would fit you. How was it? Fit good. Uh, a little tight on the, a little short on the, on the arms, but uh, fit good. Felt good. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Go ahead, Caitlin. Sorry, just one more quick one from me. I know you're super hyper-focused on the game and all you guys are focused on the game, but did you or any of your teammates um, know the score of the Yankees game at all while you were playing? No. Did they lose? Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. They showed on the scoreboard 12 2. <laughs> Sick. Okay. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Go, Washington. <laughs> Charlie, I know, obviously, for a little while now, it's been discussed that every game is a, a must win game. How did you feel that your uh, rookie starting pitcher responded when it was his turn in that atmosphere? That I don't think of him as a rookie. <laughs> this guy, it's his age is beyond his age. It's you know he's not afraid of the moment. He wants it, and and again he did it again tonight. Uh, one of the reasons I felt good about it tonight, I said it before the game because he was pitching, and and he had to make make an adjustment because now the umpire goes down, so now he has to wait. You know after he's pitching good, have to wait whatever that was half hour or whatever that was, and and it still came back and and it was sharp. So he was big. And then in the sixth inning, I know, uh, you know, the trainer and, and you went out to see Vladdy after his double. What was he sort of dealing with there? And, um, you know, how's he feeling now? Yeah, no, he's good to go. If he would have been a knee or a hamstring or something, I would have taken him out. He just said he rolled his ankle a little bit. So he felt uncomfortable. He was, he was fine after that. I got you. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Gregor. Hey, Charlie, uh, Vladdy seemed to give you guys a bit of a spark uh, with, the, with that first inning home run. And, um, you know, b before last night, at least by his standards, he had been scuffling just a little bit. I think he had been three for his last 32. To see him come through last night with the big hit and then again today, uh, I mean, how just how encouraging is that for you guys uh, to have him heating up at the right time? Yeah, you know, one thing I, uh, actually I told both of them, Teo and, and, and Vlad, that one of the reasons we're in this spot is because what they've done all year. You know, one's going to be silver slugger. The other one's got a chance to be the MVP. So, you know, just do have fun because you earned the right to be at this time and this moment because what you've done, you know, so have fun. And and they were both huge because those runs at the beginning were big and gave us momentum. So, yeah, that, that was it was good to see. It was great to see, actually. Uh, and, and then just one more quick one on Manoa. I mean, him being able to, to pitch so deep into the game like he did, I mean, even dis despite the score, him, him getting through all those innings, um, does that kind of set you guys up in a, in a perfect situation for tomorrow just with your high leverage guys being rested? Yeah, and it was, it was good to see Ross throw him a couple of innings in case we need him later on, you know. And, yeah, no, it was awesome. Yeah, and, again, I'm not surprised. That's what Manoa's done, and he did it again today. Cool. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Charlie, um, you have obviously uh, worked with Danny Janison for years now, and you've been with him for most of his career. Is this the best uh, stretch that you've seen from him offensively? Yes, for sure. And and we can and knew he had a chance to do that. But, then, but again, he's been a struggle until now. But I think, again, the best thing that happened to him is just when he got hurt a little bit, he started working on his hitting because he's always been a good catcher. This guy's really good behind the plate. Uh, pitchers love throwing to him. Uh, but he's hitting. We knew he could hit more, but he just hasn't done it in the big leagues. But now he's, he's locked in. I mean, hitting that ball opposite field, that, that was impressive to me. And I said, no way that's going out. And he did. And, you know, that was a big home run, too, because you'd never know against that lineup, you know. For sure. And I'm guessing, you know, if this was May or June, you might not do the day game after a night game with Ryu up. But I mean, at this point in the season, does that kind of change a bit where it's like you have to win these games and he's your best hitter? Well, I mean, it's only what, seven o'clock? He, he'll get plenty of time to, <laughs> yeah. to rest. Three o'clock game. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he's in. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Shay. Hey, Charlie. I'm just wondering uh, for tomorrow. Uh, for Hyunjin Ryu, just given the fact he's one start back from the IL, are there any restrictions on him tomorrow? And are you expecting to have uh, Barrios and other guys perhaps available in the bullpen? I mean, just because what Manoa did today, our bullpen is fresh, you know. And if I have to use Romano for four outs again, five outs, I will. You know, Mace is fresh. You know, Simber is fresh. Uh, 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 what's, what's his name? Trevor, Trevor Richards is fresh. So, like, I don't feel like I have to use Berrios because our bullpen's fresh. You know, Pearson, Merriweather, so so we're good to go, you know. And and let me get this out, man. 90 wins in the American League East after playing on the road for the first whatever, 200 and whatever days. It's impressive, man. This team deserves so much credit, and we're going to go all the way to the 162. I'm so proud of these guys. I don't know if you guys were going to ask me that, but I just, I just got to get it out. It's, it's unbelievable what this guy has done. I'm so proud of them. It's, it's not, it's great. All right. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Rob. 
Hey, Charlie, related to what you just said, um, what's it been like? What, what, what have they been? What are the what has the team been like this week as they're going through this? I mean, obviously, there's a level of excitement, but what have you seen from them in the clubhouse that maybe uh, people like us aren't seeing? Just they believe, they believe, you know, and our coaching staff, and and we we never quit. You know, we could have quit in Dunedin when it was tough, and the wind was blowing out, and then when we moved to Buffalo, we, we could have stopped. We could have quit there too, you know, but we never did. And we deserve to be here in this moment because these guys never quit, never make excuses. You know, now I'm the one telling you how tough it was. But when we were going through it, you never heard it from me or any player, which is that's why we're here, you know, because these guys never complained. They just wanted to play ball and it is what it is and we're going to play. So it's so awesome that we're here in this moment. It's 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 pretty cool. And it's still a young team. I think I saw a trivia question today. I think it's 26 point, whatever that is, the age, the average age in this team. You know, it's it's awesome that we're going to be at this spot tomorrow. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. We'll be back. All right, guys.